Hi, here is your Tuesday tech tip from Basque. Today we are going to show you how to download Chat Editor onto your computer. I have just opened up Google Chrome and I've went to Satilla's website at satilla.com and right now I'm going to click on or hover over support and training, go down to downloads and click just one time. Then I'm going to scroll down until I see chat editor here and I will click on all downloads and then you want the latest version because they will have all of their versions with all their updates available and I'm going to click on chat editor version 2.15.0 then you will see down here a setup downloading box you're going to wait until that fully downloads and then we will click on it Okay, once your icon, you'll see it's grayed out and it'll say chat on it. That's ready to be clicked on then. When you click on it, you will need to, if you're in Microsoft and on a PC, you'll probably need to hit run, just letting the computer know that you're okay with running the program. Uh, you will want English as your language. You pretty much just click through these options. You're going to hit next and that you accept the terms and agreement and then next. And then it will go through a loading process again up here. Um, this will also take a few minutes. So just click install and then that whole loading process will start to happen. Okay, a box popped up um, and then we just click finish on it. And then you can minimize your Chrome. And on your desktop, you will have a new chat editor icon. You can click on it and we'll finish up the setup process. So we just want ours to be the Nova Chat slash Chat Fusion because you want it to act like the device. A English again. We want our pictures to be symbol sticks to match up with the Nova Chat device. And then you can name it anything. So I'm just going to label this one Basque. Click OK. And then it will set up your configuration. It is going to tell you that speech is currently disabled and to please connect to NovaChat or ChatFusion device to have the computer enable speech. So for instance, if you're wanting to have um, an audio whenever you're using this, so if you use it on a smart board or anything and you want that speech output, all you have to do is send in a request for assistance or if your student has a device um, in the room and it's a NovaChat, then you can just hook up, hook up their cord and their device to your computer and then you will have audio output. All right, so we're going to click okay. okay. It's going to show up blank. Do not worry, it's okay. We're going to come up here, you're going to see settings, library, and help. We're going to click on library. We're going to want an English vocab. And then we want the symbol sticks version, so we're going to click on there. We're going to scroll down. These are all the different vocab levels. So if you have a child on multi-chat or quick chat, you're going to go up into one of those. Most of our kids are on word power though. So you click on word power and it will expand. And then you can find your child's or your student's vocabulary. So a lot of our kids, again, are word power 60 basic symbol sticks. So we're going to click on that. You're going to have two options then. It will say open, so you can open that vocab, or if you want to be able to edit it and do anything to it, then you're just going to duplicate and make a copy. So I'm going to show you duplicate first here, and you can leave it like this, that it's just a copy, and save. And then when I first come in, it's going to be there, and it'll say copy. I'm going to write or click on it again, and then now I could rename it if I wanted, delete if I want duplicate again, or I'm just going to choose open. And now here's my chat editor. Now, one little tip I like to bring up is sometimes this can be a very small screen up here. So you can go to settings and go to view and then change it to where you're on the 8, 10 and 12 inch device landscape. And then it makes it so much bigger, which I like. All right. So there you go. All right, one little tidbit that we like to tell people about is the capture button up here. So if you like to make visuals and adapt things, worksheets and whatnot for your students or books, this is a great tool to use and it's so easy. So I'm just going to click on capture and then 
This little pop-up box will show up inconveniently in the middle, but you can move it off to the side. All right, so what the capture button does is if I click on a symbol, it's gonna automatically show up in there. And so if I was working on the word of the week is come, and I needed to make a bunch of visuals with that, I can then copy to my clipboard, and then I can go and paste it anywhere. So let me pull up a Word document real quick. Or if you're working in Board Maker and you have like a symbol set um, page in there, or Word, um, or PowerPoint, I mean, you can paste this anywhere. So, and then my symbol will show up. All right, now one thing to remind you about this is over here on the box is capture selection. It is checked now, so anything that I click on is going to show up in there. Now, if you're trying to get a sequence to a word, or um, a word like, uh, let's say elbow, or arm or something, a body part, so elbow, okay, all that's gonna show up, but really I just want the elbow picture, that can be really annoying. What you can do though, I'm gonna clear this, and go back home and show you what you can do. You just click off of that capture selection and then I can hit all of those symbols again, click it back on, and then hit elbow and then my target word is the only one that shows up, okay? All right, there's your tech tip for Tuesday from Basque.